On paper, Piers versus Rochester Lord was the Class 3A semifinal, but it felt more like a title game, with both teams winning two of the last four state titles, and Saturday they squared off for the right to play for their third. The game started slow with a scoreless first quarter, but then it sure picked up. Zach Jungles gets the Eagles on the board. They go up by seven, but the Pioneers answer right back. Peter Schomer hits Matthias Algorin, breaks one tackle, spins away from a pair, gets all the way down to the seven-yard line. Carson Hull scores on a one-yard run. They lead eight to seven. After Rochester touchdown, Reese Kapsner punches one in. Pierce trailed 15 to 14 at the half. Eagles get a field goal. Rochester driving with three minutes left. Up five, Jake Grotebauer with a big run, puts it on the doorstep, and they punch it in the next play. So Piers down by 10. They get the first score that they need. Schomer to Alex Posner gets in for six points. But with one minute left, time for the onside kick, and the Eagles recover. They kneel down for the win as Piers' 24-game winning streak is snapped. Anthony Scott has more from the Pioneers' tough loss. The Class 3A semifinal here at U.S. Bank Stadium was a thriller. Two unbeatens won at it, but the Piers Pioneers fell 25 to 20 against Rochester Lord. You play this whole game over, it's probably going to be close again. That's how good these teams are, and and uh, we we just like I said, it's a game of, of chances, and yeah, you got to make the most of them. Piers' best chance came on the opening drive when this kick return reverse was called back because of a penalty. We started the game and we had a touchdown and I lost that and you got to make plays throughout the whole game and, and but we battled. Piers outgained Lord both through the air and on the ground but two untimely turnovers in the red zone would be the difference. I think we had the opportunities and we had the plays but we just didn't follow through with it. The respect was earned by both teams on Saturday, but only one could come away with the victory. Reporting from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.